Alright, what's up guys, it's CIA or Chris here, and today's video consists of my predictions for the London Royal Ravens home series. This weekend of games is also the beginning of Stage 3 of the 2021 CDL season. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, first up here we have the Dallas Empire versus the Paris Legion. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Since Stage 2, Paris has made a roster change. They acquired Temp and dropped Fire. Dallas still is a strong top tier team. Paris will not be ready going into this matchup as they will not have enough team chemistry yet. Temp was also debatably the worst player on the Thieves. Because of this, I don't think he'll make Paris that much better. In my opinion, Dallas is a much more talented team. This series should not be that close in my opinion. Next up, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the Florida Mutineers. This series I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. The Ultra were the major two champions. They went on an insane Sunday losers run beating some of the best teams in the game. They have been on fire recently. Because of this, they will be hot coming into this matchup. Florida, on the other hand, has not looked too great. They were eliminated by the surge in Major 2. I do not feel they will be able to come out and beat a team as good as the Ultra was playing during then right now. The Ultra are also still only 5th in the standing. They will only get better and will look to improve their position as they do so. For the next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Thieves vs Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Thieves. I have full faith that Kylo Kenny and Draza will carry the team to victory. Draza really stepped up big during Majors 2 to help the Thieves make a good losers run. Kylo Ken during Major 2 was also insane. Octane will be frying, but I feel the Thieves will barely take it as they had a slight dip in the standings recently. Because of this, they will be extra motivated to take a W here. They will be very focused up. I feel that both these teams are very solid though, which should make for a close and very competitive series. For the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be giving 3-2 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic as of late has been playing good again. The green wall is once again looking like they could be a top team. London most recently has benched Dylan and picked up Zap. This means there are now two Wester players on London, Zap and Paul X. I feel this could be very good for London. Wester was a very big force in the challenger scene and I feel the team chemistry between these two could come through for them. Both teams I feel will be very good and solid coming into the matchup. Optic I feel will just prevail because they've had a little bit more practice time. London right now with this roster I feel has the potential to become a top team which is why I'm now calling the series 3-2 in favor of Optic. For the next matchup, we have the Paris Legion versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. The Gorillas performed bad during Major 2. They went out right away after a 3-0 loss to Florida. They also beat FaZe during Stage 2. This shows that they do have the potential to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the top teams in the game. Paris coming into this matchup will still be working out their issues with Temp. They will not be prepared to face a team with the ability to beat FaZe after they both just faced losses, which is why I'm calling this series 3-1 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. Next up, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Florida Mutineers. This series I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Minnesota played phenomenal during Stage 2, but they did not win the Major. Because of this, they'll be very motivated and hungry still going into this stage. Florida as of late has looked rather lackluster. They haven't really knocked on the door of any of the top teams yet, and they haven't really looked like they can keep up with them either. Rocker has looked a lot more solid recently than Florida in my opinion, and should have no issues taking this series easily. For the next series, we have Optic Chicago vs Seattle Surge. This series I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic going into the series will be coming off of a win. They will have momentum from that coming into this. Surge on the other hand will be coming into this off of a loss. I feel it will be hard for them to bounce back from that versus a solid Optic lineup. I also feel that overall the Optic roster is more talented. Surge are good, but Optic should have no problem securing the win here. For the next series, we have the Los Angeles Thieves vs London Royal Ravens. This series I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the London Royal Ravens. I feel that in this matchup, Paul X, Venom, and Zap will be the key players to watch. I expect Paul X and Zap to be reading Venom all game long. I think there's a chance the team chemistry between Zap and Paul X will really show here as they look to face an old teammate. I feel this will help them just barely get an advantage and propel them to the victory. Both teams are looking very solid right now though, so it should be a close competitive series for sure. For the next matchup, we have Atlanta FaZe vs New York Subliners. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe now has two losses. They also did not win Major 2. Because of this, they will be pissed coming into this matchup. NYSL looks like maybe making a roster change. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but it looks like Hydro may be coming in. But no matter what happens, they will still have to work out the bugs with that team. I feel that there is no way that they will be prepared or practice enough to beat this FaZe team. This team went all of Stage 1 undefeated and is coming in off of one of their only two losses on the entire year. This should be a no contest, no dispute FaZe W in my books. 
For the last matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra vs the Dallas Empire. This matchup will be calling 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Dallas lost to the Ultra in their last meeting. This was also during a major. They will look to bounce back from that and secure revenge here. COD is a very day-to-day -day game. All respect to the Ultra, but they just went off a lot all in one day. Empire has been the more consistent force within the league, historically speaking, by far. This should be a close series though, as the Ultra have been playing and looking really good recently. I feel that Empire is just more talented though, which is why I have them barely edging this one out in the map 5. All right, what's up guys? It's CIA Chris here. So I'm literally in the middle of my stream right now. I've been playing Valorant today so far because I just got a new PC recently. Twitch.tv slash great CIA. Make sure to stop by. So in the middle of the stream, LAG, I just saw made a roster change. They benched Vivid. They moved Chino from their academy team to their starting lineup. Even with this roster change, I will not be changing the map count. I feel that Chino will benefit LAG more than Temple benefit Paris, so I'll be keeping the map count the same. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Paris Legion. In 11th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 10th, the Florida Mutineers. In 9th, the New York Subliners. In 8th, the London Royal Ravens. In 7th, the Seattle Surge. In 6th, the LA Thieves. In 5th, Optic Chicago. In 4th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 3rd, the Toronto Ultra. In 2nd, Dallas Empire. And in 1st, Atlanta FaZe. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for this weekend of games. I can't wait to see how they play out, and as always, of course, I hope the Thieves win. It should also be interesting to see the Western matchup in the London vs. Thieves game. Hopefully we can secure the dub there too. Alright, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.